Hello and welcome to RetroBreeze. The new version of Onion OS, Onion OS 4.0, has officially entered pre-release, which means the release candidate version is available. This basically means that you can install Onion OS 4.0 right now if you want. And unless any major bugs are discovered, the version that you install now will be the official release version any day now. Onion OS 4.0 comes with a huge number of improvements, and much better stability and ease of use than version 3. And let me tell you, it's an absolutely incredible release for the MiU Mini. The OS is now incredibly polished, professional, and just a wonder to use. It has a huge amount of customization to make your experience with the Mini exactly the way that you want it. Another amazing addition is a super easy installation process that will make everything much easier regardless of what version of Onion you're on, or if you're coming from a fresh SD card. Let's start by installing Onion OS. Browse to the release page linked in the description box below, and download the Onion v4 zip file. Extract the contents inside onto the root of your MiU Mini SD card, combining any folders and overriding any contents when prompted. Reinsert your SD card and power on your Mini. If you weren't on Onion OS before, it will jump right into the installer right away. But if you were coming from a previous version, you'll come to this screen first of all. Select Update, or or if you prefer a fresh start, you can select reinstall to reset all of your settings. Kind of like a factory reset. Although, note that you won't erase any of your saved data, your games, ROMs, BIOS, or themes. Now just wait while the installer does its thing. It could take several minutes depending on your SD card. When prompted, press A to power off. Now switch the mini back on and here you go, the brilliant shiny new Onion 4.0. Now let's go through some of the major changes. First, you can use the function button to enter the app switcher from the main menu. Or you can hold the function button to bring up the refresh ROM screen. The context menu on any screen is now triggered by the select button. Something you might notice right away is the removal of the recents folder, which makes the home screen much cleaner. However, don't worry, you can re-enable that in the brand new Tweaks app. So let's take a look at that. Go into Apps and then Tweaks. Here, there are many new options for customizing your experience. Here's a brief overview of what's available. In the system, you can change the vibration, low battery behavior, and startup modes, including auto resume, start application or tabs, and emulated time skips. You can even choose to boot your Miu Mini into RetroArch by default, which I think will make a lot of people very happy. Button shortcuts will let you change the behavior of certain buttons whilst you're in menus or in game, including the function button. Want to close the game with function instead of going to the game switcher? Do that here. You can also set any app to launch from the main screen with X and Y as well. User interface. You can toggle favorites in expert mode, the low battery warning, and certain theme overrides like the font size. In advance, you can change fast forward rates, swap triggers, and reset your settings. And in tools, you can sort your favorites, remove recents, and Mac users rejoice, remove those pesky dot files. Another new addition is the search app. You can access search either through apps or from your system list. Simply enter a search term to search your entire game library. This is excellent news for large game collections. All right, that about covers it for this video. Onion OS 4 kind of feels like a revolution for the Miu Mini. It's polished, professional, and represents an absolutely incredible community effort to help the Miu Mini reach the incredible heights that it has. Everybody involved has my sincere thanks for all of their hard work, and my congratulations on such an incredible release. The official release should be pretty much any time now, so if you'd prefer to wait for that, don't worry because I'll let you know when it's out. Just make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified. In the meantime, you can just install the release candidate like I showed you here, and it will work just as well. If you liked this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment. I always love to hear what you've been playing. I'm still stuck on these Neo Geo Pocket Casino games, and you know, like every Kirby game ever ever as you do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching RetroBreeze, and long live the incredible Miu Mini and its Onion OS developers.